Robin Rivnuts from Lamar Consolidated ISD. Today we're going to take a look at how to take a notebook that is storing locally on your computer and share it with yourself so then it is stored in your OneDrive for Business account in your Office 365 account. So to do so, um, you need to first have your OneNote open. So inside of my notebook, I have a notebook called My Notebook open right here and currently this notebook is just living locally on my computer. It's not in my OneDrive but that's where I want it to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm sim simply going to select the file uh, option and then I'm going to scroll down to the share option. When I select share, I should see that I have some options to share it to my OneDrive account. Now I have a, I should have an option right here that shows OneDrive for Lamar Consolidated. This is my OneDrive for Business account in Office 365 and that's where I want the notebook to be stored. So I'm going to select OneDrive at Lamar Consolidated and then I see that I actually see my Robin Rivnuts as OneDrive that shows up here. I'm going to go ahead and choose the documents location because I want my notebook to be stored in my documents folder on OneDrive. And when I do, um, I will see my documents window pop up and I'm just going to go ahead and say I want to name this notebook. I'll just go ahead and keep it the same name, my notebook. And then I'm going to choose the move option. So once I do that, OneNote will pop up a box that says it's syncing my changes and then once it's all done, it pops up another little box that says that my notebook is now syncing to that new location. So I'm just going to go ahead and select OK and now my notebook up here, when I see it, I see that it is actually living on Robin Rivnats's OneDrive at Lamar Consolidated. So now I am able to go ahead and access this notebook from anywhere on any device, not just on this local machine. Um, if you need help actually sharing any of your OneNote notebooks, this video should do it for you or you can contact your CITS for more information. Thanks.